Hey there, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make these two beautiful, cute and feminine Korean style daisy flower bracelet at home. It's very interesting and easy to make. Once you understand the technique, you can make your own design with your favorite color beads. After watching this video, you will definitely want to make it for sure. I hope you consider one like and subscribe because it takes lots of time and efforts. Your one like cost you nothing, but it's motivated me to make and serve more videos for you. So first I'm going to make the pink and white bracelet. Take a look of the materials for this pink bracelet. So we need some pink seed beads 8O and crystal white seed beads 8O and cream color 8O and golden color 8O and golden color beads 4mm and green color 11O and drop beads or drop charms and jump ring 6mm and 4mm and spring clasp or you can use any kind of clasp and extension chain this is optional. And then we need beading thread 0.20 mm and beading needle number 10. So take your comfortable length of the thread. Now I'm going to make this 8 beads flower at first. So I have picked up 8 cream color seed beads size 8 O and drop it down to the end of the thread. Now go back through all these 8 beads over here. Now tie a few secure knots here. Then cut off the extra tail thread and then pass through the next 2 beads over here. Now pick up one golden bead size 4mm. Now pass the needle through this opposite side bead like so and again go back through this golden bead. Go through the next two white beads in the straight line. Now tie a few secure knots here. Then pass the needle through couple beads and then cut off the extra tail thread. So the flower is done. So it's time to make more flower like this. Now I'm going to make 6 beaded flower like this. So I take 6 pink seed beads size 8 o and drop it down to the end and tie a few secure knots over here. Now pass the needle through these next 2 beads. Pick up 1 golden bead size 8 o and then Pass the needle through this opposite side bead. Again go back through the golden one. Then pass through the next two beads over here and then tie a few secure knots and then cut off the extra tail thread and it's done. Make some more flower like so. Now we need the 8 beaded flower and 4 mm size jump ring. Now I am going to attach 2 jump ring in both sides of the flower. Simply open the jump ring and insert it into the bead and open another jump ring and then insert it into the opposite side of the bead like so. Now we need the green seed bead size 11 and insert it into the jump ring. Now simply close the jump ring like so. 
do the same in another side so it's ready so in this way make some more like mine now it's time to connect the flower with the help of 6 mm jump ring simply open the jump ring and attach the flower like so simply connect the each piece of flower like this simply keep the process and you can see your chain is growing continue doing the same until you reach your desired length as you can see i have made mine now it's time to attach the small flower like this you can arrange them according to your choice if you like this then you can arrange like this there is no basic rules you can see there is a gap between two bunch of flowers so arrange like this this is the rule simply open the small jump ring and then attach it with the small flower or six beaded flower and then connect it with the 6 mm jump ring i'm going to attach the white one like the same way so attach another flower in the another side of the same jump ring or 6 mm jump ring so as you can see my flower branch is ready so make the same like this as you can see i have completed so now it's time to attach the drop beads or drop charm like this simply attach it with a jump ring like so now attach the drop charms in the middle jump ring like so so i will be back after attaching all these drop beads so i have done mine now it's time to attach the clasp and the extension chain so if you love this design then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and for more information please check the description box and drop your valuable opinion in the comment section right below this video thank you now i'm going to attach the flower charms in the end of the extension chain like so if you have any queries or suggestion regarding my videos please ask me i will love to answer them so the bracelet is ready now i'm going to make the second bracelet so for this bracelet materials will be the same only the extra things we need some 8 mm pearl beads and i pin now put the pearl bead into the i pin now bend this with the help of plier and then cut up the extra wire and then make a loop with the help of round nose plier you can see it has two loops in the both side so in this way make some more now it's time to attach two small 4 mm jump ring in this flower like so this is the eight beaded flower i already show you how to make them now put the green 11o seed bead and then close the jump ring and do the same in another side make some more flower like this and then we need to join the pearl like this simply open the jump ring and put the pearl bead 
and then close so my friend from where you watch this video i mean which country please let me know in the comment section below i am very much curious to know about this so keep joining the same until you reach your desired length after doing this join this drop bin like so As you can see I have joined all the drop charms and it's time to join the clasp and extension chain Now put some flower charms in the end of the extension chain Now the bracelet is ready so i hope you understand the tutorial well thanks for watching see you in next tutorial till then take care bye bye